God bless you, Android. You are a rare one to actually have done good. Ricardo, if you're there, pick up. And I respect you for that. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Samuels is gone. Shit. He opened Apollo Transit for me. I'm gonna go straight there. I'll get Apollo to lift the lockdown. All right, private transit to the Apollo core. Boy, won't that be fun. <sighs> Wait, what? Hold on, I just collected bolt gun ammo. What? A bolt gun? That's weird. Sensor, I can't use sensor. Actually, I'm gonna make another. Oh, never mind. A noisemaker, I guess. <laughs> Without the alien around, I really don't have to use these. Oh no, all my items are maxed. Means if I can't get something, that's it. You have to leave it behind. Oh wait. Oh, these plastic caps. All right. Poor Samuels. Yep, there sure are. What the hell? An ID tag. Who is this? E. Hampton. Well, where is he? His body is not here. Oh, this can't, that can't be good. There's someone there. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Android or synthetic. Actually, I probably should have looked in these little vents a little bit more often so I could find ID tags and all other other stuff too. Oh. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where he was. Kind of curious who I was killed by, but okay. Now he has a friend. Wow, that was luck. If I had gotten in there like a few seconds sooner. <laughs> Alright. We only have two more people left with us. That's Taylor, where the hell she is, and Ricardo. Marlo, I don't know where Marlo is. I was gone. 
Hopefully he's dead. Rip, I just found something here. An interview tape. You need to hear it. Play okay. it, Ricardo. Taylor? Yeah. I'm Taylor. Sector exec Wendy Tutani. Oh, the big guns now, huh? Not some girl with abandonment issues? <laughs> Leave Ripley out of this. She's just looking for closure. I'm looking after Wayland Yutani interests. And I'm looking to get out of this fucking cell. Maybe we can do a deal. Maybe. This is being recorded. You understand? I saw. Red lights on. I want data. The location of the planetoid where you found the derelict. All data you have on the origin of that organism. I can give you that. And a way off the station. Mm. You just have to let me out. I can probably agree to those terms. What the fuck? Taylor! Taylor, get me out of the cell right now! Get me out! <laughs> yep. I heard it. Well, well, we know where Marlo probably is. Well, I mean, we know where Taylor probably is. Oh, this is the transit. Yeah, wait a minute, Tony sucks. I mean, they know all about the planet. Afterwards, and then they claim they have no idea that the creature even existed. Assholes. And that place was colonized too. Oh. Huh. Well, finish. Yeah, not everyone is dangerous. I remember seeing those two guys. When that one guy spotted me, and he didn't, like, you know, aim his gun at me or run away, I knew that there was something else about them. I was right too. We're on the floor above the Apollo core. This whole area contains Apollo supportive systems with the AI core itself at the center. Why don't we just blow up the core? Apollo Screw it. Samuels from lifting the lockdown remotely. But once you're inside, he made sure it'll at least talk to you. Did you just call Apollo a he? Seriously? I call it an it. <laughs> Alright. Nexus Terminal. Nice. Tomorrow together. Our ascent to Sevastopol. While Seagson prepared for its ascension to colonial space, its foothold was under construction. Sevastopol, a station with unparalleled potential. <laughs> Uh, uh, unparalleled potential and a perfect position deep in deep space. Oh god. Sebastian Sieg? Seriously? I am Siegson. Sebastopol began as a free port built by Lorenz Systec Development and funded by our friends at Geofund Investor. Station's opening would, however, coincide with some all in this space race. Years for mismanagement and the rerouting of the Sol Thetis flight plan left the past to pull in real danger of being de decommissioned. Thankfully, Seekson were waiting in the wings to re-energize the station. 
Among many others, in 2124 we arrived in Sevastopol and made possible the buzzing cosmopolitan hub you see today. I've come over to Apollo to find out what sent the synthetics crazy. This place has gone to hell. Apollo's redirected core android duties, and they've just walked away from the maintenance we requested after we got the news. Coolants everywhere, gas has escaped, and the primary access lift has shut itself down. I flagged the help request, but apparently I'm 45th in line. <laughs> Systems are suddenly obsessed with hazard containment. I'm gonna find a way down. Spreading out. Oh. I guess that means the alien may on board service offline. Just like Mother did as much as it could, even if the entire crew was to die, it would risk that. Firearms detected. You've got to be shitting me. How was I supposed to, to say there. that? <laughs> I was supposed to say, you gotta be shitting me. Oh, you can't be serious. No. I'll bet. Damn it. Oh, my babies. I'll miss you. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, come back to me. Oh, no. That's not good. So now all I have is equipment and stuff. Surprising a, a Molotov is not a dangerous. Oh, go to hell. Accessible. Ricardo, the way in's blocked off. The schematics they use for the Sevastopol sales tour should be nearby. See if there's a back door. Four nine three zero. Okay, let's see. Oh. There's a power conduit that links to the Apollo core. I can use that. You think you'll fit? Turn off the electrics, take some deep breaths, squeeze. Easy. Like I haven't been doing that before. <laughs> I don't plan on it. So what does this say? Four. Try to remember this time. Forty-nine thirty. <sighs> Is it being like, uh, like fourth wall breaking? I imagine people probably forget it. Or is it this right here? Damn, I'm good. We fourth wall break in the fact that maybe people keep forgetting access <laughs> codes. I'll have to power it down first. Yes, everyone wants to snuggle with live wires and electricity nowadays. This way. See what's here. Detector. Okay, I'm not worried because I'm kind of defenseless in this situation. I mean, the most I have is Molotovs, so that's pretty much it. just stopped in their tracks. They brought something about a hazard containment order, tried to get into my control booth, and then just marched off. I know I always complain about those spooky bald bastards, but now I've got proof their wiring's faulty. I've got a meeting with your boss Fetting tomorrow, and I'm gonna kick some ass. So when he starts kicking your ass, well, it's coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> 